Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Indusair Education. Um, today we will talk about voltage as a very important characteristic um, of uh, electric field. It's a characteristic actually of two different points in the electric field. We're talking about voltage between them. Um, now, this lecture is part of the course called Physics for Teen, presented on unizor.com. This is the website. I do suggest you to watch the lecture from the website because, um, well, first of all, all lectures are presented in a logical sequence. It's a course, right? So, every lecture has a textual detail um, explanation, uh, besides this video which, which you're watching right now. Um, and textual part is basically like a textbook, so you can always read it. Uh, it might be in some cases uh, complementing what I say or don't say uh, during the lecture. Now, for instance, some sophisticated calculations, I'm just doing it in, in writing in the text, but I don't do it on, on, on the board. Uh, plus, the website has many problems uh, solved. Uh, and exams for you to check yourself and the site is completely free uh, the, there are no advertising or anything like that so uh, we are talking about voltage now first of all voltage is a derived characteristic and the primary characteristic is something which we have already um, learned before it's called potential every point of electric field has a characteristic called potential. Potential is, by definition, amount of work to bring a probe object of plus one coulomb from infinity to that particular point um, in, uh, in the electric field. We were also talking about uh, moving an object from one point to another as um, something which, uh, well, the work to move from one object to another we were talking about this, it's independent uh, of the trajectory. Why? Because electric forces are conservative. That's the term, conservative forces. So the field of conservative forces and electric um, uh, forces are conservative has such a property that f to move from one place to another, um, a, a, a charge is really independent on the trajectory. Which means that the most important part is what's the potential here, what's potential there, or even more important, what's the difference between potential. So whenever we are talking about, let's say we are talking about um, a, a centrally symmetrical uh, field of uh, point charge of certain, let's say, Q coulombs, and this is our probe object, plus one coulomb. Now this is point A, and this is point B. So no matter how we move from one point to another, we have to spend exactly the same amount of uh, work, which actually corresponds to the difference in potential. Because I can move it from here to infinity, and then from infinity to B, so it will be minus potential of this and plus potential of that, right? So we're always talking about Vb minus Va as something which is amount of work which we have to really spend. Now, that's amount of work which we have to spend for one particular um, uh, probe object which has a unit charge. So when we want to measure amount of work, we usually measure it in the C system uh, of units, we are measuring it in, in joules, right? Now in this particular case, amount of work is per unit of, um, uh, of charge. So it makes sense to, um, to measure the difference between potentials, which is actually the work which should be uh, performed to move a unit charge from point to point. In units uh, which are actually units of work, which is joules, by units of charge, which is coulombs. So one volt, and this is the new unit which we are 
using to measure the difference uh, of potentials. Uh, it's equal to basically amount of um, it's a it's it's a difference in uh, potentials such that um, amount of work to move from point to point of one particular unit charge of electricity is equal to one joule. So one volt is a difference in potential in potentials between two points such that to transfer amount of electricity equals to one coulomb requires amount of work one joule. Now obviously um, it's very important to have the sign properly here. So amount of uh, electricity is positive. Um, amount of work which is one joule can be either plus one joule or minus one joule, right? Depending on whether you're moving it from A to B. Now let's say this is the central field of the point charge, then whatever is closer would have a uh, stronger um, would have a stronger uh, potential, right? Because if you remember, for um, for the central point, our potential is equal to k uh, q divided by r, right? Q is the source of el electric field, and r is the radius. So, the further we are, the smaller the potential. The closer we are, the bigger the potential. So, if we are moving. Now let's say A is closer than B, so let's say R1 or RA is less than RB. What happens in this case? Well, in this case the potential VA is greater than potential VB, which means to move from B to A would be positive, to move from A to B would be negative, right? So it all depends on the sign, but in, from the magnitude standpoint, again, the difference in potential of one volt is um, is uh, uh, such a difference which um, means that one coulomb of electricity move, moved from one point to another would require one joule of work, positive or negative, depending on, again, to closer or to further. So this is the definition of a new unit, unit of the difference of potential. Well, do we have to invent a new, new unit? No, we can say that it's just measured in joules by coulombs, but physicists decided to have it a new unit which is called uh, one volt. In the same way as, what is joule? Joule is basically newton times ma meter, right? So they could have used newton times meter, but they decided to have a new unit in honor of some physicists. Now this is also, volt is a new unit which is uh, named in honor of uh, Italian physicist Alessandro Volta. So the volt is um, a new unit of difference of potential between two points. Now, um, and the voltage is actually the uh, quantitative value between two points. So let's say we are talking about that the voltage between A and B is 100 volts. What does it mean? Well, it means that to transfer one coulomb of electricity from A to B would require 100 joules. That's what it means, basically. Um, okay. Now, now we will talk about two particular examples um, of electric field and we will talk about what exactly is um, the voltage between two points uh, in each of these cases. Okay, so the first example is basically as I just displayed right now. We have a, um, a central field with a point charge of Q and we already basically know that the potential VA is equal to KQ divided by RA. Potential at point B is equal to KQRB. K is a Coulomb's constant, obviously. So the difference 
in potential is V is equal to KQ 1 over RA min minus RB now again or RB minus RA it, it all depends on uh, which direction we are moving from A to B or from B to A well I think this is from B to A but if it's from A to B it should be reversed in some way it's actually uh, similar to lifting in the gravitation field lifting a one kilogram uh, by one meter so we are changing uh, the potential energy uh, of this particular object by one newton time times one meter which is one joule so that's exactly the same thing because and and the word actually potential in electric field and potential in gravitational field are basically they, they do mean exactly the same thing it's certain amount of energy which should be either spent as work or or the, uh, or the object actually already has if it's already positioned in the field gravitational field or electric field so it's just a potential energy all right so this is the voltage between two different points one is at radius ra another is at radius rb from the centrally located point charge so this is one particular example now another example is it's related to the problem um, which was considered I think it was problem number two when we were talking about infinite plane infinite plane which has certain density of electricity uh, sigma it's infinitely thin and infinitely large plane it's charged with a uh, density uh, sigma and we have actually came up with a very interesting result that uh, intensity of the field at any point uh, is the same and it's equal to 2 pi k sigma this is intensity of the field now um, from the potential standpoint if I have a constant intensity and constant force intensity is a force applied to a unit electricity of electricity of electric charge now that means that if I will bring um, this particular uh, probe charge of plus one coulomb from infinity to this point I have to spend an infinite amount of energy right because the force is exactly the same force times distance and distance is infinite so in this case the term potential doesn't make any sense at all it's just a, 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 an infinite amount of work however however the difference in potential between two different points let's say this is point A and this is point B the difference in potential does make sense why because we are actually lifting from one point to another or, uh, or lower it down from one point to another and we know exactly what is um, the force acting uh, against us or helping us so it's positive or negative but in any case the difference is just the height because again to horizontally move we don't really uh, spend any energy no work is done because the force is perpendicular to the trajectory but to moving up or down perpendicularly to the plane does make sense and does change something and it requires work now we have a constant field uh, constant uh, I intensity which is a force so the difference in height is important so if a has uh, height uh, h a and uh, b has a height has a height h b then we can talk about the distance as h a minus h b now this is the distance and multiplied by force that gives me amount of work 
So this is the uh, voltage between A and B. So it depends on the height above the uh, plane. So this is just another example how to calculate the voltage if we know, you know, whatever we know about about electric field. So in case of a, uh, a central electric field, it's one formula, and it depends on the distance from the center. In case of a flat uh, plane, as the source of the field, it's a different formula. In a, uh, for any case, there is something which we can calculate as um, a numerical formula, which which gives you exactly the voltage. So. Um, let me just summarize. This lecture is not about anything new, basically. Whatever I'm talking about right now is you knew from the previous lecture. I have just introduced a new um, terminology, the voltage, and the new unit, how to measure it, which is basically a joule per calorie, one volt. That's a potential difference between two different points. And again, it always makes sense to talk about the difference um, in potential rather than potential of every point separately. The same way as I was explaining, if I'm lifting something from one place to another, it doesn't really matter how far it is from the center of the Earth. The matter is by how much I lift it. Well, that's it. Um, Nothing uh, uh, extremely new here, except, as I was saying, terminology and the unit of measurement. However, we have to really understand that this is a very important um, unit of measurement, because the voltage is something which is used in electricity everywhere. So whenever you are using uh, your outlet, you know that there is a, some kind of an uh, electric current uh, which will which will start working if you will turn on the lamp or something like this and the voltage is very important so in the United States you have main main voltage uh, in, in all the houses is 110 for instance 120 um, in Europe it's 220 etc so people should know their voltage because it from the voltage depends the next thing which we will talk about which is the current but that's in the future Okay, that's it. Thank you very much and good luck.